Hey y'all, happy Friday. Okay, today we have a lot to tighten up from this week. I uh, hope you're ready to go. All right, so yesterday, was that not so vivid in Rick's detail of the Greek Paul used to describe the world that Jesus came into, the us being held as slaves. Again, captives. And so Jesus Christ came to set at liberty the captives. He says to announce release to the captives and set forth as delivered those who are oppressed. Um, we must now, when we know the truth, the truth will set us free. The word that's used there in the Greek know is gnosko. And that is an intimate knowledge. One of the places that that is used is intimacy between a man and a woman. And it means to have full comprehension of the person or thing. I know and fully comprehend with absolute certainty, intimate knowledge. That is personal experience. When you have that real encounter with Jesus Christ, who he is, like the demoniac of the Gadarenes, when he had that encounter with Jesus, everything changed and he knew the truth. He knew who Jesus was. And so we can have that same intimate knowledge of Jesus and actually, it is necessary for our release from the dominion of sin. When we begin to fully understand, and by revelation, the Holy Spirit peels back another layer and peels back another layer and peels back another layer of the depth of your redemption. You are no longer like that, that picture Rick gave yesterday of being slaves to Satan under the dominion of sin. But Jesus, Jesus, Jesus has freed us. Now I want to go to Ephesians chapter four. And this is a verse that I, I mentioned Sunday in our, our live video. The book of Ephesians is just it's all incredible. But when we're talking about this, this armor of God, there's so much depth in this Ephesians. But Jesus, in verse uh, chapter 4, verse 8, um, Paul says, Therefore it is said, when he ascended on high, he led captivity captive. Y'all listen to this. He led a train of vanquished foes, and he bestowed gifts on men. I'm going to read it again. Therefore, it is said, when he ascended on high, he led captivity captive. He led a train of vanquished foes, and he bestowed gifts on men. Okay, what in the world does that mean? Let me tell you, I can hardly wait. So, one of the, the notes in my Bible from a, another commentary, it says, He conquered those who had conquered us, such as sin, the devil, and death. So Jesus Christ led captivity captive. Those things which had conquered us, those things which held us captive, and we go back to the dominion of sin, that those powers that held us captive as slaves, Jesus Christ led them captive. He led captivity captive. It, he led a train of vanquished foes. Vanquished foes. Again, that is Ephesians 4 verse 8. And what we have to do with that, let's go back to John 8 36. So he who the Son sets free is free indeed. So if the Son, if Jesus liberates you, makes you a free man, then you are really and unquestionably free. Jesus Christ has led those who would conquer us captive. He has led away the train of vanquished foes. Tighten that truth around your waist. Knowing that Jesus had 
the dominion and has the dominion over those things, that he led dominion and power of hell captive. There is no foe. There is no enemy. There is no power that can stand against the born again believer of Jesus Christ. Let that truth hold your armor in place. When you, when you are in that truth, when that truth is tightened around you, you're not worried about what is coming your way or what the enemy might try to do. You are standing your ground. When again, Paul says, stand therefore, having tightened that belt of truth around your waist and you knowing that whatever force of hell would try to come against you, that Jesus Christ has already led it captive and you stand in his power you stand in his armor and you stand in his freedom. Glory to God. That is good news. Tighten that truth around your waist. All right. I better stop. I'll see you all tomorrow morning for our live. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.